The way to put fear behind you is through trust. Observing with the empty mind of all thought, feeling the present instant. That instant is unique because in it you connect with the intelligence of your heart, which gently guides you towards the light of your being. You trust in his wisdom and love. The present instant is where everything happens. It is the state of your being in its first truth. It is from there that the sovereign acts. It is from there that you are presented with obstacles you do not want to see to trigger his healing. It is when you get out of time that you live. Love is in the present instant. Your truth is in the present instant. Live intensely every instant without thinking what you are going to do or what you have not done. Trust that you will be gently led under my guidance. They design your world based on your deeply hidden fears. But if your mind is cleansed of all thought of separation, centered only in this instant, then your world is molded through the luminous desires of your heart. This is how you experience the reality of the source instead of the deceptive reality of the controllers. Fear can't get in there. Take fear, then, as a call to perceive love. When you appreciate, you are accepting with the heart and not rejecting. When you choose to appreciate everything there is, Fear disappears and love appears. You are including everything within the same essence that you are. The controller program has many ways to keep you in constant fear. The media is an example of a strategy to stoke fear. And once fueled, it is enough for you to participate, unknowingly, in regenerating more fear. Fear is a projection of something you believe has happened that can be repeated in the future. The ego mind projects a possible future based on an implanted memory of what you believe was your past. But fear does not exist in the present moment. You move away from this instant when your mind is focused on getting rather than feeling. The desire to obtain something or someone is a desire perceived through the ego mind. The ego mind is masking your deep longing to feel wholeness. All desire is a call from your heart. You feel and connect to me through your breath. When you are filled with your essence, your illusory desire to obtain something from the world is diluted. The ego mind keeps your mind occupied at all times to prevent you from making contact with the present moment, where you align with your heart. That's why he devised the concept of space and time. In reality, there is no space when everything is the same, where there is no separation. And there is no time where everything develops in the same moment. But within deception you live your life scene to scene, and you believe that there is a temporary continuity between each scene. The ego mind demonstrates you, through its deceptive projections, that space and time are real, 
and that what you live is real, but any moment is valid to come into contact with your being, and your tool is breathing.